gorgeous Tracy Ross plays Eve Russell, Passion's Town Doctor with a past. Makeup. But she's just very short-sighted. There was so much malice in the room towards Eve. Everyone is berating her and the word flying around is whore, whore, whore. But Tracy's also found a few things to laugh about. The people here are all fun and good-natured, wonderful people to be around. Tracy Ross was born in Brooklyn, New York. I lived in Brownsville, Brooklyn, and I remember looking out a window over the fire escape. Lots of boarded up buildings and dogs running, <laughs> wild dogs running around, thinking, I don't belong here. I am far too fragile a flower for these kind of circumstances. And I think I was six. Tracy's mom raised her and her two siblings on her own. We would have love and merriment and all that, but just had a mother who came home exhausted from working every day. Three kids, not enough to go around. And I remember at one point, I know it was all four of us sleeping in one bed. I remember being hungry when I was a little kid, a lot. And I was like 12 years old before I realized fried bologna is not a legitimate dinner meat. Tracy's mother taught her to have a tireless work ethic and taught her the lesson that she lives by today. I learned from her that you get what you earn and that nobody owes you anything and nobody has to take care of you. And although he wasn't around much, she learned a thing or two from her father. And his chief topic of conversation was not to ever do any drugs, no way, no how. Tracy never did use drugs, in part because her dad showed her the gritty realities of addiction. I remember him coming to get me at 2 in the morning and driving me to Harlem, where there were people at 2 in the morning out in the street, and all these zombies walking around with big eyes. By the time she was 15, Tracy had grown into a beautiful young woman, and her good looks were her ticket out of Brooklyn. She was about to find out that staying straight paid off. Well, I had seen the Miss Black Teenage New Jersey on television, and I thought, oh, I want to do that. For the shy, underprivileged Tracy, the experience was a revelation. I really bloomed during that, and I'm grateful to pageants for what they are can do for you. You know, whether you win or lose, the things that they can do for your confidence and your feeling about yourself. Not only did she emerge from the Miss Black Teenage New Jersey pageant with new confidence, she came out a winner. And I thought, 10 judges who I never met who don't know me, and they liked me best. Wow. In 1984, Tracy entered a contest to be on TV Star Search. They called me and said, listen, we don't have any more room in the actress category for this year. We're all filled up. But we do have room in the model category if you want to be in the model category. And so I said, I thought a bird in the hand was worth two or three in the bush. So I said, okay, yeah, I'll be in the model category. And that's how I got on. Tracy's appearance on Star Search was one of the most successful in the show's history, and it made her an instant celebrity. After Star Search was over, that I found out how many people had been watching because I went to the Grammys, and people are coming over going, Stevie Wonder wants to meet you. And I'm like thinking, this is not real. But it turned they'd all been watching this show and had been rooting for me and were thrilled that I had won. And to hear Ashford and Simpson come up to you and go, if you hadn't won, girl, we were going to tear the place down. And I'm like, oh my God, this isn't happening. Tracy was in demand for modeling and acting gigs, even doing a stint on Ryan's Hope. Ryan's Hope was a good and bad experience. Everybody else was really talented and really solid and really experienced. And I got really self-conscious again and felt that not only did I not know what I was doing, but that it showed. I think I was also a little bit spoiled from all the adulation I'd gotten from Star Search, but I would kind of protect myself by being distant and removed and, and almost like I'm too good for this, knowing full well that I couldn't even handle it. But then you blame it on it instead of you. After Tracy's two-year stint on Ryan's Hope ended, 
this independent single woman decided to have a baby on her own. A cat could have six kittens in a dusty basement without alerting the entire eastern seaboard that it might be possible that I could have one child without alerting the entire eastern seaboard. But when Tracy's water broke, the midwife was stuck in traffic. Tracy's friend Danny was there to help. My son's head was out and his body was in. And I said to my friend Danny, who was there, I can't wait to do this again. For 11 years, Tracy stuck close to home, taking care of her son and guest starring in primetime roles. But in 1999, she was ready to go back to work full time. That's when Tracy heard about a new daytime drama that was about to turn the genre on its ear. The show, Passions. After an audition, Tracy's agent gave her the news. And she called me and said, they really like you, they want you to come back. Tracy scored the role of Dr. Eve Russell. Eve has two parts of her personality, and one part is very kind and caring, very intelligent, and the other part, cowardly. And she's been at Passions ever since. I like being here. I don't want to leave this place. They're going to have to drag me off this lot kicking and screaming. I'm not going voluntarily. Tracy is a girl from the other side of the tracks. Lots of drugs and tenements and all kinds of stuff like that. Who's lived by the words of wisdom her mother gave her as a young girl. That nobody owes you anything and nobody has to take care of you. These inspirational words led her to the stage of Star Search. But I'll be darned if I, I didn't win. And finally to the set of Passions where she became a daytime superstar and where I'm so happy and happier than I've ever been. There's somebody up there likes me.